Guava. We're coming, Lisa. Thanks for coming. Welcome back to our channel, guys. We're back for another banger. Yeah. <laughs> banga, banga. All right, so today we finally got some five guys in Germany. Which uh, I'm so excited because I've been trying to be healthy. Yeah. But and, you know, I love, I love like fast food. So. I'm pretty sure there's a five guys in Germany, but not in mine. No, no, no. There's just there. opening, like, I, I think there's like. Three or four locations or something. Oh, okay. They're yeah. just opening. They haven't been in Germany before. So this is our first time tasting five guys. You know me, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, Gwinnett County. So five guys is there. I've already tasted, I've already ate them many times. So nothing special for you. Nothing special for me. Yeah. I mean it's still good, <laughs> but let's just see how she's gonna react to it. But so I do a little mukbang for you guys, talk a little bit and see what she thinks. Yeah, let's see. So we wait, we got the Cajun fries, the normal fries, cheeseburger, and bacon cheeseburger, and a cheese dog. A cheese dog and Oreo milkshake. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I think this one's mine. I don't know, but I feel like this one's Number mine. Number two? Yeah. Well, we probably got the bacon or whatever. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Let's see. What does this one look like? Barbecue? No, it tastes like ketchup. Mm, let's see. Uh, Look, I like I like Five Guys, but the reason why yeah, I, don't really, the bacon. I don't really mess with it because it? it comes messy. Oh, it's a hell. Yeah. Wow, this is really messy. Little thumbnail? Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Really I'm gonna try the fries because. How's the fries? How's the fries? Let me try this. Smacking or what? Mm, those are good. I told you. Cajun. 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 Stop eating all my fries. <laughs> I'm so happy you your fries. It's like a, this is like an international thing, a universal thing. You know what I'm about to say. What am I saying? No, what am I saying? It's not that every girlfriend has to eat their boyfriend's food. It's guys, like, guys know. Your fries are better. When we were ordering this, I was like, I'm gonna get the Cajun fries. Do you want this? And she was like, uh, I was like, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna get the Cajun fries. I'm gonna so, dip this in a milkshake. It's good, I, I like it too. Yeah, I like that. That's why I wanted the normal ones. Nah, the, Cajun, the Cajun fries still hit. Really? Yeah, but. Mm. Yeah, I wanna eat those. No, you're gonna eat your own. <laughs> All right, no, I'm about to eat. Wait, does it have bacon? No. Okay. The thing for me is, I'm like, I need to eat some fries before I start eating my burger. I don't know what it is. Okay. All right. Guten Appetit. Guten Appetit. Bow. Ready? I don't know why I'm so excited. Okay, ready. Calm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's good. Is that yours? Yeah, it is. Because it's bacon. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Why? No, they have mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them have. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought I saw a little bacon piece on it. Oh, okay. Hit it. Just hit it. Hmm. I was, oh my gosh, that was falling apart. I feel like I'm not going to be able to put this down. <laughs> the thing about me is I'm a messy eater. I don't know how you do it. Those who know me? This guy, whatever he eats, he always clean. Clean. I don't know, I don't care about this. Those who know me, eater. those who know me know. It's an art to this. Mm. It's an art to it, stay clean. Mm. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Let's get our baby baby bib. So art, there's an art to everything. You gotta take your time. You gotta take your time. I'm a, I love food, so you gotta take your time and enjoy the food. Take care of the food. Nourish the food. No, the food nourishes me. 
What you mean? <laughs> you, you nourish it, it nourish you. They control the food, babe. Don't let it control you. Mm -hmm. There we go. That good bite, huh? You know what? I'm sipping it. I don't know what it is going on right now. When I sip my boba upside down, I you, see it better. You eat better like this way? <laughs> yeah, you gotta take care of the food. You gotta say hello, baby. How you doing? The food gotta take care of me. Guten Tag. How's your day? You good? I'm good too. You know, just chilling. About to eat you. You know. You want me to eat? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. I'm not even talking to me. No problem. <laughs> it's the cheese dog. What we got in there? Some onions, relish. I don't really eat relish, but I was like, okay, let's try it. Uh, what else mm -hmm. is in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mustard ketchup. Mustard ketchup. I don't remember. It's been a while since I ate a, I ate a hot dog, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. It's been a cool, cool, cool minute. I don't remember the last time I had one. It might have been in New York, but that was like 2015. I shouldn't really be eating this, to be honest. Why? It's pork or what? No, it's beef. It's beef? Yeah. All right, bet, bet, bet. Mm -hmm. My food is just, I don't know what it's doing. It's escaping me. How is it, babe? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Try to put it down for your heart, please. Mm -hmm. Put it out with the stream too. You're going to be able to pick it back up? No, I don't think so, too. <laughs> this is going to be a surprise to everybody. What? So you're just finishing it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me try it. I've never had relish in my whole life. I didn't even know what it is until you ruined it for me. Wait, what's your favorite um, fast food? Zaxby's. Of course, Chick fil A. You know. Mm. Of course, but for me, number one, Zaxby's for sure. Mm. You get the wings and things. Mm. Sweet and sour chicken wings. Mm. Yeah? Mm. When they come to the States, I'll take you there. Don't worry. That's the first meal. <laughs> That's the first meal? Like straight from the airport? Look, my brother and I. Before we travel, we always get sex Yeah? As our last meal. When we get there... Don't say like that. The last not meal. last meal. <laughs> the last supper. <laughs> when we get back, while we get off the, the airport, either we tell our brother or our sister who picked us up to bring it with them. In the car? In the car. So when we put our bag in the back, it's there. Fresh. Mm. Open it up. Hum. Um, um, um. Shout out to Zach Beats. Y'all yeah. uh, want to sponsor him down. Shoot. How is it? Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I feel like mm, it's good, but I have too high of expectations. Of course. Five guys are straight, but. I feel like a lot of hype. Mm. Like, at some point in the state, they were getting a lot of hype. Like, I think almost compared to In and Out in California. Not the same level of like, I haven't been there. It being good, but there was like a, a lot of hype. Like, saying Five Guys, Five Guys, like, okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a milkshake. And I know this will get to me too, because. I can't do uh, dairy like that. So when we sleep in, 
and they smell a little something, something. Yikes. You know, it's from outside, it's not me, it's outside. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Wait, hold up. What's your favorite um, fast food? Me? Mm, I don't really have one. Because the chains that we have here in Germany is like McDonald's, Burger King, um, KFC. So I have to choose out of all of these, it's probably Burger King. Cool. Okay. You think McDonald's is better than Burger King? I don't eat McDonald's anymore. What? You yeah, I think so. Anymore. You tripping. No. The only thing good at McDonald's is the fries. So can we agree McDonald's got the best fries? Yeah, McDonald's got the best fries for sure. But like... Are we considering Chick-fil-A fries? Well, Waffle fries is fries, right? Yeah. Nah, I mean, McDonald's still got it. It's just close though. Yeah? Never had it, so I don't really know. Maybe I did have it, but I don't know. No. I don't remember, because when, like, when I went to the US, <clears throat> when I was like, I think I was like 17, 18, we didn't really go to these places. But then I think when I went with my family when I was 14, I think my brother and sister went over to some of those with me, but I don't I didn't buy it all like the one thing I was excited for when I went to the US was like Victoria's Secret for some reason. I didn't even have food for them. But you're not used to one. You're not used to what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know why? I mean no shade. That, that this country is not obese. Is that all man? What 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 what'd you say? I can't even pull up the same window. Pull up to the second window. You need to pull up. You open the thing. Like, yeah. Can I help you? And you're like, oh, can I get this and this and that? Okay. All right. Give me a second. Can you pull up to the front? We'll bring you food out later. Then you sit there by like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Hmm. You don't do it too much, you know. Now I'm being nice because that's actually kind of closer to Chick Fil A style, but they're, they're more of a. May I help you? What do you need? Yeah. Massage? You want me to work with the lotion on your back? Mm -hmm. What else do you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Wait, some Starbucks? Then we'll sell that. What you want? Cappuccino? Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. That's so weird to me. Yeah. Because I saw in some like videos and movies that in the US Starbucks has a drive through Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every fast food has a drive through That's what I'm telling you. But Starbucks? Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, everything has a drive through that's a drive through Yes, because you guys are like a... You gotta get it to go. I know, but you guys are like a car country. Yeah. We're not. Facts. We're not. Yo, don't come after me, because y'all know you're, you're probably gonna be like, you're drinking water while eating burger and fries? Look, all the junk went in my body. I gotta cleanse my soul. Yep. Don't do it. <laughs> it don't taste right. <laughs> it don't taste right. Can I ask you, do we want to go with Fanta or Coca? Uh, uh, we got water at home, babe. Uh, it don't taste right. I like the milk thing. That is my favorite of them. That's what they eat your pool, though. Mm -hmm. I never woken up like when I was younger. Get up late at, late at night. Maybe there's leftover pizza, a burger, fries, whatever. I mean, it's usually fries or pizza. And at night, you put it in the microwave. Beep. Well, you, you can't make it go beep. The reason why you can't let it beep, you don't want to wake your parents up. Mm -hmm. So you put it on, when it gets like five, four, three, two, not, not at two, not at three. It's, you got, it's a little challenge game. You got to see if we can beat the buzzer. Three, two, <laughs> when you open that thing up. <laughs> Take it out and make sure you close it fast so the smell doesn't go out. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> the smell goes out and then your parents, be like, so they're gonna always smell it. And they're come down. What are you doing? What are you doing? What you making? It's too late. And my dad, <laughs> if my sisters and brothers are watching this, if my brothers and sisters are watching this, they know my dad got a sensitive nose. That makes it smell anything. 
a mile, or in your case, kilometers away. Why you hate on me? And you know, I had to switch up the metrics, you know? I had to switch up the metrics, you know? No, when that man got a sensitive ass nose. Mm -hmm. Your dad too? Mm -hmm. My dad can smell anything. I have a friend like that. She can smell anything. And she can taste anything. Like really anything. I can make like a, I don't know, like a mix it all together dish. Yeah. She can tell me exactly which spices I use. 2% chili, 5%. <laughs> Maybe not the percentage. <laughs> when I was younger, late at night, I don't know, I'd just be hungry. And I'll make maybe some grilled cheese. Late, I'm talking about like late would be like 11 p.m. Maybe 12 p.m. You know. Late in children's time. In children's time, yeah. And then all of a sudden, my dad's been my dad's been knocked out. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he just come downstairs with the grill on, and he looked out there and was like, "Pedro, what are you making?" And I just pop my head like this. Grilled cheese. Then he's like. All right, hurry up, go to sleep. What do you mean you make grilled cheese when you don't go to sleep? What type of grilled cheese do you think I'm making? I'm talking about put it two breads in a toast, take it out. This is this is this is kids' grilled cheese. Like when you 10, 11, 12, two to two bread in the in the toaster, push it down, let it toast, take it out, get American cheese because that is what you got there. You don't get no pepper jack or this goat cheese or whatever. That's what you have. Just quick, put it on one slice on top, close it, and put it in the microwave. Let the cheese melt, take that thing back out, cut it, cut it diagonal because you know you fancy, you know what I'm saying? You're a chef. That's it, then you eat. You never did that before. No? No, no, but we also don't really have um, a sandwich no, culture no. here. No, no, that's a classic. That's made. Yeah, no, I know. So That's actually, we don't we don't really do that. We don't have a sandwich culture in Germany. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't eat sandwiches that much. What we do do is all like for dinner. A lot of times we eat bread. You know. Of course, like, brot, 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 brot. It's brot, brot, literally bread brot, time. Brot, <laughs> <laughs> it's bread time. So you have like your bread, like the good bread, you know, not the top. Mm -hmm. The good bread, like a whole lump. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> and then you cut it, and then you put your butter, mm -hmm. and you put your um, like whatever you put in your hair. Well, I'm talking mm -hmm. about struggle food. What is your struggle food? Struggle food is like water. Drink and go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's ultimate struggle, of course. But struggle food is like that grilled cheese. Quick when you're young, you know you don't want to bother your parents, but they're not making you anything past ten. Or. If you, I don't know if you've ever done this, but those of you out there, struggle food. Get two slices of bread, put syrup on the bread, close it, you have a syrup sandwich. I don't know about y'all, but back then, it was busting. It was busting. I had like three, four, five of those things. It was busting. But my specialty, you know, the infamous, famous meal that I did when I was younger, let me guess. Go ahead, you know, you know me. Go, go ahead. <laughs> peanut, you. Butter, jelly. peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Those of you, those of y'all who had my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you know what's up. I've had it. It's good. It's good. But I gotta say, I'm not really a fan of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right. But that's because this is the last um, video we're gonna do together. Not going anywhere. All right, we're done. It's official. It's over. She's gonna go with somebody else that enjoys other things. I'm gonna go find someone that likes peanut butter and jelly. So, first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> try. <laughs> nah. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. We don't have, we don't do that here. We don't eat peanut butter and jelly. We don't really eat grilled cheese. We don't really like do sandwiches like that. I don't think we're healthy. We are healthy. Mm. It is what it is. It U.S. got an obesity problem. It is we what try. it is. Even here, more and more, but we don't we don't do sandwiches with like the white bread that's like all flabby, you know. We have the good bread, and then you put butter, and you put your wurst, and you put your Käse, you put your Gurke, mm -hmm. okay, and then you eat that shit. And then you're full. You don't go for a midnight snack. Y'all missing out. 
No, we're healthy. I'm just not. We're healthy. No, I'm talking, but I'm not talking. I'm talking about struggle food. Talking about struggle food. Struggle food is different. I don't know. Struggle food is whatever you have in the kitchen. Yeah, I know, I know. And as a kid, your parents are not gonna wake up. I mean, I don't know how blessed you are. My, my, after ten, it's nighttime. I, I know. After ten, I don't eat. Yeah, That's either it. you don't eat or you better just go in the kitchen like a quiet cockroach or something <laughs> and try to mix uh, something. Not really. How old are we talking? I'm talking about like between 10, I 10 to like 14. I didn't do that, but back then I didn't really eat too much either. Yeah, 10 to like 14, 15. Now though, like when I was in university, I would go to the club like my first semester. Yeah. I would go out. Go to the club, come back home at five in the morning, and I start cooking. Like I'm literally minting my garlic at five in the morning. To cook at your myself. at your parents' house? Oh no, hell, my apartment. I was about to say, I was about to say. <laughs> so, no, no, no. So I got quiet. It's my apartment. <laughs> so I was just quiet. I was just like drunk as fuck. <laughs> five a.m. These are the only things popping up. Drunk as fuck. Five a.m. <laughs> cooking oh, in the know kitchen, what? and you no one saying anything. If I was cooking, they would say something. But I did do. Like, I, w- I did go to the club and come back home, like, at 5 in the morning. Yeah. And I would bring breakfast, because my mom, she leaves at 5 for work. Ah, you sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, 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 yeah. And, because my mom, like, my mom, she's a, like, a, what, a nurse? A nurse. A nurse. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's a nurse. So, she has to leave at, like, 5 something, 5.30, I think. So, when I, like, the club closed at 5. So, I'm quick enough. Hey. I can bring her breakfast. You know? She don't ask you, where were you? I mean, she knows I'm going to the club. <laughs> I was 18. What you mean? Ah, still. Ah, hey. <laughs> if you, it doesn't matter. You're African. No, we we. Uh, I'm 26. We Europeanized my mom very much. Yeah, y'all did. Yeah. You know, shout she's, out. Shout she's out. more German than any other. Shout like, out, shout out to your mom, uh, African queen. Shout out to her, but it's too German now. You know, in her heart, she was burning. She wanted to be like, hey, Emily, where you been? I mean, she would ask me, where you been? I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I was at this club with these people. She's like, oh, okay. Uh, and I told Tommy, you shouldn't drink. Hmm. <laughs> and be like, okay. She know, she know. To this day, to this day, I'm 26. If I go back to visit my parents, mm-hmm. and I'm staying over at the place, and I go out to a club and come back late, and let's say my dad goes to work early too, around 4 or 5, same time. And I come back, and I open the door while he's leaving. He just look at me. Or, and I was like, oh yeah, I went to the party, you know? I said, but he's like, did you come back this late? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, that's like my grandma. And he'll, he'll just walk away, but that's now. That's now. I get to walk away now. Mm. And I was, my grandma. I was 18, 19, 17. But it's also big. It's a difference in culture. Don't go out because like here you have nightclubs that will let 16-year-olds come. Yeah, I'm tripping. No, <laughs> We just learn how to, I mean, yeah, I mean, let me stop drinking now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find an excuse. You gotta drink, you gotta drink at 16, right? Okay, look, the, the law, the law allows people, teenagers, to drink wine, champagne, beer, and like some of the mixed drinks have like a less, like a lower percent tobacco at 16. 16. And then like liquor and everything is at 18. Okay. So nightclubs, they will open a little early, and then until midnight, the sixteen-year-olds have to pay, and then at midnight, sixteen-year-olds have to go home. And then, but not all nightclubs, just the ones. Do they really go home? I mean, look, the thing is, when I was fifteen, <laughs> I stayed at home and drank until dark. Oh, let me <laughs> <think I'm right. laughs> No, I okay. Look, I mean. We just get ID from friends, right? They're old enough, and the only girl that kind of looked like me was 19 when I was 15, because there's not a lot of mixed people out there. Mm-hmm. So I always stayed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't like it. 15. You know what I was doing 15? Playing soccer and going home to sleep. Playing soccer and going home to sleep. <laughs> Damn right. And I was out there like. Damn Ooh, right. That's how I was doing 15. Yeah. And we had this, we had this party. It was like I think it was like once a month, and it was called Hallen Gymnastik, and Halle is like the club. And then everybody would come in like these 
80s uh, like a aerobic kind of outfits. Yeah. Yeah. So we would go there like these short, short, short at a top and then. No leggings? Dang. Hmm. <laughs> we would go there and we'd be like, hey, we're enjoying ourselves and they were playing um, these aerobic videos. At 15, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, at 15. Oh, 16 then. Maybe 16. 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think like, it was, I started going on like 15, almost 16. And then like 15 became going, but everyone was younger than me though. I was the oldest. That's opposite for me. All my friends were going out and doing their thing. I was going to go play ball, have training, something, and head right back home. My friends know I'm very airy. Went out like that. It's not because my parents, but I was just into soccer, into mm -hmm. football. Yeah. I didn't really have time for all that stuff. And all my friends like that were also into football. If anything, we'll go to somebody's house and play FIFA or something like that. Yeah. Or I just be my brother's house because my family was really close. Like it's it's a lot of us, it's five of us. So I'll be my brother's house, nephews. That was a bling the light. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we gotta practice early. Uh, practice early? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I um, oh, no, I didn't enjoy it. Like, I didn't have my time. When I was like 15, almost 16, like 16, we went out a lot. And then 17, we changed and went to the clubs that were like 18 year and above, you know? We didn't go to the same ones. Because then we're like, oh, there's kids there, like 15 year olds. And yeah. I was 17. And you're 17. <laughs> and I was 17. <laughs> and then we started going to the different clubs. And then, then like 17, 18, not so much 17, maybe like more 18. 18, maybe a little bit above 19. And then um, I kind of stopped. And then I went to uni. I mean, I went to Rwanda first. And I lived in Rwanda for like three months. Yeah. So that was a big change. And then I came back and then. I went to uni. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was it was fun, but then the place where I went to uni, there's not like a lot of good nightclubs, so you just go to the bar. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I killed it. I can see. Um, I didn't. <laughs> nah, you killed it, killed it. Enjoyed so, how was it? Final thoughts on time, guys. It was good, but a little too messy. Yeah. I feel, I feel like um, maybe if we had pool, we would have played there. Yeah. They would have smashed it into like in the bags, bag, so maybe it would have been messy. Yeah. No, five guys feel like that regardless. Yeah. I mean, if they're doing the way the U.S. does it, things like that, regardless. But, yeah. Um, but it was good. Yeah. I did enjoy it. I think my favorite is the milkshake, though. I don't know. Yeah. I've had better fast. I know we got off topic a little bit, talking about other things, but we're just enjoying the food. So uh, that's Five Guys right now. We have a little taste for Five Guys in Germany. Germany's Five Guys. And it's not bad, you know. It's not bad actually. It's, it's similar to U.S. You know, I need to put some more diabetes and obesity in there, but it's okay. Shout out to people in the states. <laughs> Shout out to people in the states. Right, I'll tell them both. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let them know. But anyways, it was good. I feel good. Do you feel good? I feel like I'm gonna need to go. Yeah, facts. I'm about to sleep. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, and what? Subscribe. Yes, man. <laughs> Smack that, hit that, do whatever you want to do to that. Woke to it. Woke to it, to that post notification bell to make sure you see when I post our new videos. And leave a comment what you want to see next. Share the video, and we out. Peace. Peace.